Hey everybody, Ted Forbes again. Welcome back. And in this movie, we're going to continue on and we're going to talk about the video tag. Now, the cool thing is, is that we've already been through most of everything with the audio tag and the video tag works exactly the same way. Uh, you can see that what we have here is, I mean, you can also put the source into the video tag. This one's separated out. So we have video, we have the controls turned on. And inside that we used a source tag for our source video, I've got an example here, and the type is not audio mp3, it's video.mp4, which is an MPEG-4 spec. Uh, just a couple things, again, you have the same issues that you have with audio, uh, with Firefox, it supports Aug Vorbis video, uh, or Aug video is what they call it, and then also, um, you know, you have the fallback of the flash, so if you want to code all three of those sources in, it works exactly the same way, it does a fallback. I'm going to show you um, in a later video, and the reason we're not spending a whole lot of time on this, I just want you to get the gist of it, because there's a much more graceful way of handling uh, the source code and the fallback and stuff, but we're going to require some scripting and things like that. But I want to see, I want you to see the nuts and bolts of this as it stands right here. So basically, we've got our video tag set up, we've got the controls turned on, and we have a source. So this should work. So if we go ahead and open the video.html file that I made, sure enough, here it is, it works. So I can, I can play that and uh, it will start to play and you can see the video is moving and I can bump this around and I've got different options here. So, um, all of the same uh, attributes that we've talked about for the audio files are um, in effect here with the video file or the video tag. So I can do controls, I can do autoplay, I can do loop, you know, all this stuff uh, if you want, in fact, to use those. I can also do the preload equals none if I want. And uh, let's see if that makes a difference here in this browser. Um, yeah, it does make a difference. See, because it's not preloading now. So it's just stuck on loading because I turned the preload off. So, um, as you can see here, this is this example right here with an MP4 file obviously is only going to work in a WebKit browser. I, I don't have my other compression formats here. We're going to get to that in a second. I just want to show you more of the video tag here. So if you're working along, make sure you're in a WebKit browser. Uh, we do have the preload function. We have a couple other things too. I have, um, uh, we have now, we can have a width and height attribute. So if I want to determine that ahead of time, I can say width equals, I believe this one is 480 pixels by height of... Uh, excuse me, uh, height equals 288. And let's go ahead and load that up and see what happens. Yeah, there we go. It's a white background, but uh, you can see that it did fix the width and the height. And another one I want to show you, and this one's really cool here, uh, and the preload needs to be set to none. Um, if I turn the preload none off, let's do that so to load the video. And I'll show you here. Let's reload that. And it loads the video. Now, what it does is it's not set to autoplay. But what it does is it picks what's called a poster frame. Okay, so you probably, yeah, I don't know if you've heard this term before or not. But a poster frame is essentially a still image that's going to be a placeholder until you start the video. And what's cool about this video tag in HTML5 is it does support a custom placeholder. Okay, so if I go in, here's the trick. And Safari has this little kind of thing that it likes to do where it likes to ignore it. Uh, so what I need to do is actually turn the preload off equals none and the reason I'm doing that is because what it does is once it's preloaded it picks its own poster frame so we want to turn the preload to none and then I'm going to use the poster attribute poster equals and I have a JPEG on the desktop here this poster.jpg we'll open that it's it's not a real fancy graphic here I just wrote this as a poster frame but you could put whatever JPEG image you want and I just want to show you you can bring that in poster equals uh, I call that poster.jpg Let's go ahead and save that. Now when I come over here and refresh, it loads the poster frame. And so this will hold until, in fact, I do decide to start playing the video. And then it will go ahead and play. So anyway, some very cool stuff there that you can do with the video tag. It's a lot like the audio tag. We can just, we have a few more controls in it, mainly the width and the height, because audio is not a visual element, obviously. It's just, it's sound. And so you don't have a really, other than the control set, a way to display that on the screen just in and of itself. So video you do, it has width and height. You can also change these dynamically. So if I want it to display smaller or larger or something like that, I can figure out what the ratio is and, and do the math and, and do that accordingly. So you can resize in the player. I can also add this poster frame, the poster equals JPG. So that's very cool too. And then just like the last one, if I wanted to have support for multiple browsers in here, I would need to copy this over. I need to have, I can't just write <laughs> OGV in here and have it work. That's Ogvorbis video. Um, but uh, so, so GV, I would need to actually go make that file, and then you could also drop down, and put your flash file below. And like I said, there's a there's a little cooler and more graceful way of doing that that has a little bit better support right now. But like I said, in this video, I wanted to just get you a feel for the tag and how it works uh, and what your options are within that. So we'll move on, and, and next time around, I will show you. Uh, we'll get into a little bit of scripting, and I'll show you how you can bring that into the equation and come up with some really cool video players. So anyway, uh, we'll do that in a future movie. So anyway, thanks for watching.